guys, how are you? Alexa here. Um, so today I want to make a video to answer some of the questions that I got um, either um, by messenger or um, in my profile. So those questions are regarding um, makeup, uh, storage and uh, keeping our things, guilt, um, Photoshop, undergarments, uh, what else? Uh, I guess that's it. Well, I get so many questions, but I think those are the more uh, recurrent questions. Um, well, regarding makeup, um, the best advice that I can give you is to practice a lot and to watch as many tutorials as you can. At least that's what I did. And the most important thing regarding makeup is not the brand, it's not the, you know, the color or anything like that, or how to put your eyelashes on. The most important thing regarding makeup is lighting. Lighting is everything because when you um, are doing your makeup, if you're doing your makeup under like a poor light conditions, you will discover later that you're looking anything but what you try to uh, do when you were doing your makeup. So lighting is crucial because lighting will uh, allow you to, to really distinguish the fine lines, the, 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 the true colors, the, the blending of, of your makeup. And, and that advice I can give because I'm a filmmaker, so I need to know a little bit about lighting. Um, so uh, that's regarding makeup. There's nothing else really. Uh, just, you know, practice a lot, watch tutorials, and do your makeup under the proper light. Uh, it's very important to know that you uh, make sure that the light is in the front of your face and not on top of your head. Because if the light is on top of your head, your eyes will look like, you know, like a raccoon. And if, if the light is on top of your head, uh, all the colors will look, look different. All the blending of your makeup will look different. So don't ever do makeup under the light, but have the light in front of you. Obviously, if you have the possibility of having one of those illuminated mirrors that are magnifying as well, that, that's like the, the perfect um, scenario, you know. So, yeah, try that. Um, now, regarding guilt and keeping your stuff, one of the things that I, well, first let me answer that yes, I threw away many of my things many times. I felt guilt many, many times and, and I was going nuts, you know, because I, I quit so many times and I came back so many times until I, I discover one almost, I don't want to say silly, but obvious um, thing. I discovered that by replacing uh, guilt and fear for love, everything changed. Um, how? How did I achieve that? Well, what I did is every morning I, I was making this list. At, at the beginning it was like a very tiny list, probably three things came to my head. But every morning I decide, you know, I decided to create a list where I will write down all the positive things about Alexa and uh, all the good things that are in Alexa and that that come from Alexa. So I start, you know, I started making that list and, uh, and little by little I realized that Alexa was love, was understanding, was compassion, was caring, was smiles, was great sex, was many positive things and and by doing that I felt amazing and uh, and the more I love myself the more I embrace you know Alexa and and that's 
the way I I changed completely, and uh, because the true change, the true connection with the, with your feminine side, with your beauty, inner beauty, the, the beauty that really matters, uh, the true connection comes from love. There's no other way. It doesn't come from you know getting a boob job or you know or butt implants or uh, taking hormones or doing uh, you know your, your nose or having a tiny waistline whatever mm, you know it doesn't come from there the true feminine side comes from love that's it there's no other answer to that so that's why many people live their lives frustrated because they try to physically uh, change their emotions and and that's impossible and it's a waste of time and it's a waste of money and it's a waste of beautiful energy so for me was learning to love not only myself but learning to love learning to recognize love in me learning to recognize love in others learning to recognize love in in everything and that's that's the way I was able to replace all that guilt and all that fear for love and for great moments like this so for me that was my solution for guilt um, so don't throw away your things and how to keep your things away from your wife if she doesn't know or your girlfriend or whatever the case might be or your family for me my solution was a storage unit uh, I know some people can't afford a storage unit they're not too expensive here but but if you have other friends that are sharing you know this lifestyle with you you guys can you know share the, the expense of of the storage unit and uh, and just that way uh, don't you know get rid of things that that you like and uh, that you enjoy so for me that was my solution a, a storage unit and fortunately I'm able to keep it for you know only for me exclusive so I get to do naughty things in that storage unit um, okay so next topic um, da, 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 da. okay Photoshop and undergarments you know what um, there's nothing wrong with the doing Photoshop and there's nothing wrong with wearing compression undergarments. Um, the question of some person uh, was if I was doing Photoshop on all my pictures and if I was wearing undergarments to to look skinny or to look more curvy or you know whatever. Um, no, you know I don't and it's not there's nothing wrong with that as I said. Um, but I decided just to work out and to work hard to look uh, better for myself. Um, so uh, no, I don't do Photoshop. I don't even know how to do Photoshop. And uh, obviously I try to look good and I try to uh, stand or pose. And obviously I filtered so many pictures where I look horrible. Um, so I obviously I post the ones I like um, but yeah you know it's just uh, you know that's that's the way I, I achieve you know the, the the body that I have it just was working out I did change my diet I, I became vegan and and I did that not to look great on camera or anything like that I became vegan because I respect life and I don't want to I don't want to eat fear, you know what? Because when you are eating all those animal suffering, blah blah, in in a way you're you're eating fear and suffering. But that was my decision, and and I don't try ever to influence others or convince them that going vegan is the best, or you know, or or the, you know, changing your lifestyle the way I did it. I don't. I never try to convince anyone about anything. I respect everyone and uh, and I know we are all in different stages or um, areas in our path. So, um, but for me that's what really changed my body and 
he was eating um, a vegan diet and working out, working hard. I think that's the only solution uh, or the only way to achieve results that will not only make you feel good, but it will make you healthy. Um, so yeah, I don't do Photoshop or any of those things. Um, okay guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I promise I will make a more videos soon and uh, stay safe and connect with love. Bye.